And I feel like I want to create more paintings because we are direct, we create directly when we get that inspiration, but we don't want to lose it. Have you ever thought or wondered about what artists can teach us? I have seen so many beautiful paintings and wondered how they are made and what is the inspiration behind them. So, I will be meeting with painters who have been painting for a long time to find out. I'm Benjamin Mbola, a visual artist from Congo, now residing in Uganda. It is at Congo Loco Hub where we create In the morning, painters are ready to face the day ahead. A new day means a new challenge. It all begins with small steps, and progress comes gradually. Painting is a beautiful way to express yourself, and it is not just for the expert. This is Swedidi, one of the first painters I meet in the studio. Beginner painters, those who are just starting, have a unique journey filled with valuable lessons that can inspire us all. When I start my projects, sometimes I have more questions. In life, starting a project can sometimes be challenging. We live in a world full of pressure and judgments. Not only that, not everyone appreciates our work, which can raise questions. But it's crucial to appreciate the ideas we have because everyone is unique. When I create my work for sure, I feel comfortable. I chase that worriness and I create because I don't depend on anyone. And I watch him, I realize that even in painting, everything starts with a plan in mind, with an idea. It is fascinating to see how he's turning thoughts into things we can see. Like all artists, inspiration doesn't just appear out of nowhere. Every piece of art has a story behind it. I'm inspired by everything. Sometimes I communicate with nature. Sometimes places I discover problems I find, it depends on which corner I am in. Most of these stories come from our surroundings, from where we live. Bringing our imagination to life can be a challenging process. It requires time, it takes time. I spend most of my time on art every day I create. So we are living with artists. We are three painters. My name is Rifen Buya. I'm a visual artist all the way from Congo. And now I reside in Uganda. For Benjamin, living with fellow artists is a great experience. Living with people who share the same thoughts and speak the language of art. I'm discovering that Rifen's art is different from Benjamin's, making each one unique. At first, it is hard to discern what he's painting but gradually everything takes shape. We learn from each other. So I learn sometimes by seeing brothers work. My name is Justin Chuma. I'm a vision artist. I'm a member of Kongoloko Collective. My painting is talking about Africa. Like you can see, I draw nature and also sometimes I draw village. The beauty of art is that there are no rules. You just need to let your ideas flow from your hands. Using similar brushes, canvas, and maybe even colors, each artist has their unique way of expressing themselves. We can learn that embracing our unique perspectives and expressing ourselves honestly is the powerful way to connect with others on a deeper level. Look at this. What do you think about the colors in these paintings? Interpreting art is a very personal and individual experience. 
Even when artists create many paintings, they don't feel finished. They always feel like they are at the start of their journey. Living with artists is like living on another planet. So it makes you feel like you're also an artist. As someone who doesn't paint or doesn't know how to paint, I found myself in the world of imagination where we let our ideas flow onto a canvas. I have no idea what I'm doing, but as they told me, I just have to express myself as best I can. There are no small ideas in art. Many times, those big ideas just fade away and don't go anywhere. It is important for everyone around the world to realize this. Most of the time, I'm inspired by African culture tribe, which we find in the African continent. We have most problem like when I see young kids are in ghettos, in streets. Do you believe that art can offer solution to some of the problems we have in everyday life? As an artist, I must show also my voice because we have most of voiceless. So as artists, we are trying to empower their voice. Arts, it is a way of sending message and that can be understood. Behind every piece of art, there is a story. Not just a story, but a message. Art is the best way to communicate with the world. Painting is like thinking with colors. We grew up in the world where history is made with paint brushes, and through art, we have connected with the past and talked to the people from long ago. I have a very important message that I'd like to share with you. I just want to say thanks to everyone who just subscribed on this YouTube channel. And we are kicking things off with the very first episode of the African Portrait. That means a lot of good things will be happening this month. So if you haven't yet, I would recommend you to join us by subscribing on the channel because that will help us to create even more our some content on this YouTube channel. So your support means the world to us. Painters are more than just artists. They teach us important things about life, from being patient to expressing feelings and being creative. We can learn a lot from them. So the next time you see a painting, remember that there is more to it than colors and shape. And I feel like I want to create more paintings because art can give you freedom. Art has the power to bring people together. It's the best way to express emotions, feelings, and communicate. A way of finding freedom. And through it, we can change the world. Life itself. It becomes waiting to be painted with moments of joy and togetherness.